Alright, we're back with more Sassy Detective. Uh, I think I've already done this. Hmm, how do I... Let's go to the main menu. That's weird. Yep, there we go. I was like, I know we've done this. Amanda, I need to talk to you. Why did you do that crazy shit? Amanda has some pretty sexy underwear, but I don't know why she hasn't dressed yet. Are you mad you had to do that scene in the bathtub with Mandoline? With Ma Melanie? Wow, I messed that name up. Smack. Ouch, she slapped me. How do you... How can you think about abandoning me when we are such... When we have such an important case? You were thoughtless and irresponsible. The government needs us and you're going to get fucked? Yeah. Amanda, wait. You know you're going to suffer the worst horrors that no hell would ever offer. You're not going to get out of this one. Just listen to me for a moment. You fucking degenerate. You were only interested in fucking that singer instead of working. Amanda, listen to me for once. Hmm. Say what you have to say before you say your last prayers. I found the Phantom Gentleman. Bullshit. Bullshit. And why didn't you say something sooner? Did you like m my jerking you off so much that it rendered you mute? You didn't have to remind me of that. That doesn't matter now. I want you to tell me everything that happened from the very beginning. Don't hold back any details, no matter how embarrassing. Now look. Now talk. I told Amanda about the date I had with Melanie. The route we took, the streets we walked, as far as I could remember. And how we met the Phantom Gentleman and how he got away from me. In addition to his mysterious message. And that's all. Amanda? Amanda, please say something. I don't get it. This case is so confusing. Why the hell would anyone impersonate the Phantom Gentleman? And why would the Phantom Gentleman be interested in Jap Japan's cultural heritages? Because he's a fucking thief. I thought that too. He would be persecuted, persecuted globally, and that's something that wouldn't be in his best interest. Exactly. That brings me to two possibilities that we're not covering. The first possibility is that, that the Phantom Gentleman has something else in mind for the treasures. And what's the second? He's trying to protect them. Is he really going to all this trouble to protect the treasures? He's a weeaboo. I'm not sure, but I think the order of events is what's throwing us off. We were hired for the theft of a mirror. And by the time we arrived, the jewel had already been stolen. And if the final gentleman is telling the truth, the mirror theft is what happened first. What isn't clear to us is when the second theft occurred. That's why Nishi Sagawa was arrested. Wait a minute. Did they arrest her? If you were doing your job, you wouldn't be so surprised. Forgive me, it won't happen again. It immediately happened again. Whatever. That girl knows more than she lets on. And that's what why they have her in custody. Fortunately, Mr. Nakagawa assured me that we could talk to her when they're finished. That's why I went back to the hotel and found you pretty busy with your hands. You won't forgive me, will you? Not in a million years, Grasshopper. And with that smile of yours, I know the w that worst punishments await me. You'd better get your act together because as soon as they come back, they come back for us. We've got work to do. Huh? There's a knock at the door. Go see who it is. I'll finish getting dressed. Whatever you say, boss. It was Melanie knocking at the door. She looked depressed and wanted to talk to me privately. Since the team in charge of our tour was with her, we couldn't go to her room. We decided to talk to the fr at the front desk. Tell me, Melanie, what's the matter? Why did you look so down? I want to apologize to you for everything that happened today. First, I distracted you from work, and then what happened with your boss. 
I'm not hand I'm not handling whatever it what it whatever happened very well. I feel bad. Don't worry. Whoops, I didn't mean to hit that. I hope I didn't hurt her feelings. At least I can you forgive me for everything I've done? There's nothing to forgive. You did nothing wrong. I was the one who made the decisions. So don't worry, I'll be fine, and I want you to be too. Okay, but can you tell me about the case you're working on? I'm not sure I should tell her, but I think I owe her an explanation. I don't know what to do. Yeah, let's make it awful for everybody involved today. I think I owe you an explanation, Melanie. After all, this case ruined our day. Amanda and I are on the trail of a very skilled thief who stole Japan's sacred treasures, which are cultural heritages of this country. We don't know what his motivations are with the treasures, and the police don't understand how he operates. That's why we're here. Is that the man you fought with? Yeah, that was the Phantom Gentleman. And he's a nightmare. I hope we manage to catch him soon. I understand. If it's so important, I'll keep this a secret. But I expect you to promise me that we'll go out on a, uh, go out again when this is all over. We're going out again, I promise. I love to see her smile. I think she's in a better mood. Well, I'd better be going. I'll be going out soon to look for more clues with Amanda. Yes, and one more thing, Fernando. I want to tell you that I don't regret anything that happened. I was delighted to have given you a moment of happiness. What do you What do you think? Well, to be honest, I enjoyed it a lot, and I don't regret it either. It was a unique experience, although I wish everything had happened under better circumstances. You're right. It was still a lot of fun. I'm going to my room. I'm happy to hear that nothing bad happened to you. Catch that thief for me. I will, I promise. Take care. See you soon. I went back to my room as soon as Melanie left. It was time to get back to work. Mr. Nakagawa arrived an hour later with the permit to see Nishi Sagawa. If Amanda's hunch is true, she's a key player in this case. And it was our turn to find out everything she knows. Mr. Nakagawa explained to us what they concluded after finishing interrogating Nishi. We were driven back to the palace and met, with the Sagawa, met at the Sagawa residence. Thanks to Mr. Sagawa's influence, Nishi was placed under house arrest. We had to take the opportunity to interrogate her to find out what happened on the night of the robbery. All right, Nishi, you better tell us everything you know if you want to get out of this. Bitch. It won't do you any good to make this harder on yourself. Everything we, everything we don't know, we'll figure out sooner or later. Let's see. I told you everything I know. You have no right to pressure me. Do you think I stole the Yasek? The Yasakani Magatama, just because I'm a, the guardian? My dear, you must cooperate with the detectives. They only want to help you. Mm. It's not working. She's too stubborn. If only I had something to pressure her with. Then I could make her talk. Very well. Since you think you're so smart, I'll tell you everything I know. I believe that one of the clues we found, the footprint on the ground, I, is fabricated. It makes no sense that the thief would remove a single shoe to enter the crime scene. Secondly, we discovered you entering the secret chamber in the room. Hmm? Had you witnessed the crime and hidden the secret chamber, the thief would have seen you. All this leads me to conclude you were there before the robbery occurred. Hmm? It's amazing how much I miss by not being attentive to the case. At least Amanda was always in charge. That's reassuring me. In conclusion, the only person who could steal the, ma the Magatama, well, it's you. That's a lie. Not much conviction now, is there? Detectives, please don't be so rude to my daughter. Let me remind you that this is my house. If someone lies to my face, I'll be as rude as I want to be. Fucking Americans. Now, you'd better fess up, darling. After all, I only want to help you. Did you steal the Magatama? Spit it out. Tears appeared in Nishi's eyes, but her gaze was furious. You have no right to treat me like this. I'm a treasure I'm a treasure guardian. It's my duty to protect them. So much so to pretend someone else did it? I knew it. What do you mean, Amanda? The Phantom Gentleman the Phantom Gentleman is a very smart man, but he doesn't have superpowers. 
One cannot steal two objects separated by such a great distance in such a little time. It's obvious that he has an accomplice. And the, and the earring we found points to only one suspect. No. You did it, didn't you? You stole the gem thinking you could protect it. It's not true. Nishi answered the question. Did you do it? It's not true. Leave me alone. Nishi immediately ran to her room, crying loudly. Nishi, get back here. Visitation is over. So soon? We haven't finished talking to her yet. I said it's over. She's still under arrest and under my jurisdiction. You fucking pig, I'm gonna... Wait, don't do anything crazy. Hmm. Sure. Fine. I'll be back tomorrow and you better let me talk to her. We're leaving, Fernando. Move your ass now. I'm very sorry. We have to go. Wait for me, Amanda. Mr. Nakagawa was waiting to take us to the hotel. We didn't say a word the whole way. If not saying a word means listening to Amanda's long list of insults towards the police officer. Although the hotel was close by, the trip felt like it lasted eternity. I'm very grateful all of your hard work, Monrico Dono. But I don't think we are very close to catching the thief. You're the thief, aren't you? We would be if the girl was were telling the truth. I'm adamant that she knows more than she lets on. Mr. Nakagawa, can you tell me what she confessed at the police station? Or can you tell me what she confessed at the police station? Sagawa Dono said something that I consider to be lies. She spoke of something called the Heart of Orochi, a fourth treasure that has not been found yet. Checking her cell phone, we found incrim incriminating messages connecting her to the thief. And with the evidence found by Monrico Dono, it was enough to arrest her. Still, the motivation of the Phantom Gentleman is unclear to us. If the Phantom Gentleman is looking for the Heart of Orochi, as the message said, they'd steal all the other... Why they steal all the other treasures? To find it, you fucking git. And why is Nishi helping him? Could it be that someone else is involved? Wow, you're putting your brain cells to work. God, you're a bitch. Riddle me this, Grasshopper. If there's a third party involved, what evidence do you have? Amanda and Mr. Nagagawa's gaze were fixed on me like stakes. I better speak carefully. Amanda, you recently said that Nishi may have stolen the jewel to protect it. Perhaps the phantom gentleman is or perhaps the phantom gentleman is looking for the treasures to prevent someone else from getting the fourth treasure. Uh I'd wager that's a good possibility, but we have no proof of that. I agree with you, detectives. I'll need to speak with the Prime Minister. I must keep him informed on everything that has transpired. I agree. If we're going to capture the phantom gentleman, I'll need all the help we can get. Especially that cantankerous police officer. I really can't stand that prick. Nevertheless, who do you think this new accomplice might be? I'm not sure, but I am sure of one thing. And that is that there is someone who knows exactly what is happening. Because Nishi got ahead of their plans thanks to the Phantom Gentleman, I have no doubt about it. You have no proof either, you're just speaking from intuition. Either way, tomorrow is the day we will be taking action. The Kusanagi Sword is already at the Maijai Shrine, Maijai Shrine, and that information is known only to us. Ten seconds later, fuck! How does it keep getting stolen? I must be getting. I must be going now. Have a good evening, detectives. We're worse off than when we started. We only have theories. Let's get back to the room, Grasshopper. Hopper, we have a lot to discuss. Yes, boss. Fernando! I turned my head as soon as I heard that voice. Melanie approached, smiling as always. I haven't heard from you all afternoon. How's your work going? Have you made any progress? I'm not sure if I can call it progress, per se, but I think we're on the right track. I'm very happy. Am I interrupting something? Oh, hello, Detective. Am Amanda, I was just saying hello. Oh, come on now. It's not like you need my permission to talk to her. But may I remind you that we are we are working, and we already are too distracted from your duty? You shouldn't bully Fernando like that. I know he's working, but don't push him. If I really wanted to push him, 
He'd be in a wheelchair, darling. Look, I don't feel like arguing with you. We have work to do. Fernando, maybe this isn't the best time, but I was wondering if you'd like to go out and have dinner with me? Holy shit, you dumb bitch! Jesus Christ! Hey, we're on a really important case. Alright, you wanna go have dinner? Holy fuck, you stupid bitch. I promise I won't keep you for too long. Please say yes. I'm feeling... I'm feeling I'm riding two waves, and I don't know what to do. Ah, uh, there is no fucking way we're making out of this alive if we go with her. I do have my duty. I've had enough distractions. I'm sorry, Melanie, but I must devote myself to my case. I can't put it off any longer. I understand. That sad look breaks my heart. I wanted to tell you that tomorrow is the concert, and I'd be like you to attend. She handed me some tickets, caressing my hand as she did so. I had these three left over, so if you wanted to invite your boss or someone else, if you like. And then, I think we'll say goodbye. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, Fernando. You better go to your boss. You have a case to solve. I hope to see you tomorrow. Promise? I promise. I'll be there. Don't let me down. I'll see you tomorrow. Melanie retreated toward the elevator and disappeared behind the doors. Come on, Grasshopper. We need to have a serious talk. I'm ready, Amanda. We have to solve this case any way we can. The first thing you should know is that when we return home, I'm cutting your salary. I simply cannot overlook your ne neg negligent behavior. Not in this lifetime. That's not fair. Shut up and sit down. I'll fill you in on everything I know. First of all, there are a lot of holes in this case. But with that, with what I found today, I think I have a good hypothesis. I'm listening. What we know about us for certain is that the Phantom Gentleman possesses the Yata Mira. You confirmed it yourself, so that's out of the question. What we don't understand are the circumstances regarding the theft of the Yasakani Magatama. From the way Nishi reacted today, her motivations are unclear. Exactly. If she really wanted to protect the Magatama, why make things harder? And when the Phantom Gentleman's messages were discovered on her cell phone, the conclusion was more than obvious. She did it for him, which brings me to the following question. Why? Do you think she's looking for the heart of Orochi you mentioned? I'm absolutely positive she is. There are still some holes, however. If she wants the heart of Orochi with the Phantom Gentleman's help, who truly benefits? I think I understand. She wants to prevent its theft, but she needs to make sure it actually exists. Bingo! You're finally putting your brain cells to work. Now, only one last detail needs to be made clear. Who is the real thief in all of this? But we have no evidence that there is a third party involved. Actually, we have a clue. The second letter sent by the Phantom Gentleman. According to Mr. Nakagawa, there were two letters written differently. The first one was in English, announcing the Yatamira's theft. The second one was in Japanese, left a day later at the Emperor's palace. The second letter couldn't be sent by him. He was too far away to do so. Only someone who was very close l could leave it, but that doesn't tell us anything. Remember the Phantom Gentleman wrote to Nishi's cell phone. That's his actual note. That was the warning that Nishi would get in action overtaking the intruder. This is just a hunch, but the Phantom Gentleman hoped that Nishi would leave false clues. Then everyone would suspect him, and he would free her from responsibility, but she's not a criminal. She made, it too, she made too many mistakes and wound up getting involved. The only way to know who else is involved is to wait for them to try and steal the sword, right? That's right, I'll tell you my plan. Listen carefully. Amanda told me, step by step, what we would do to add Dawn. It was a risky plan, and we required... I should catch that sneeze. It was a risky plan, and we required Officer Nakagawa's corporation. I was sure he wouldn't agree. After talking, I thought about visiting Melanie in her room. I had to apologize to her properly. For what? You know you're fucking working. However, something was wrong. The door to her room was open. Melanie, are you here? This is strange. Why would she leave her door open? Something's not right. Melanie! Melanie! Ugh, my head. Somebody hit me. M Melanie? 
My head, everything hurts. Where am I? We'll find out next time. So thank you guys for joining me for some Sassy Detective, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.